Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for attending. Let's get right down to the matter at hand, which is this massive volcano that could blow up the northern part of our country. So what we're going to focus on is energy and the energy flow through the rock cycle. So volcanoes, as most people know, they have lava, which comes out of the volcano, and it will start to cool. This cooling process will actually turn these um, through the loss of heat energy and cooling into a different kind of rock known as an igneous rock. It's the only kind of rock that's formed through the loss of heat energy. Once it's formed, any kind of rock can then go through another type of energy process where weathering energy through the form of either wind or rain can break down rocks into these tiny particles known as sediment. The sediment will then sit there until erosion, which is another kind of energy where gravity will actually take these sediments and through a wash or just from falling from gravity can take them further downstream towards a riverbed or a lake bed. So what that happens then is you'll have a process where the sediment lays down on top of each other, layer over layer. This is going to create a lot of heat and pressure as, uh, as the increasing energy on the bottom layers is formed by having layers sit on top of it. This downward pressure will actually cause a compaction and cementation process where the little grains of sediment will actually stick together and form a new kind of stone. This new kind of rock is known as a sedimentary rock. As you can see here, there's layers and layers and layers of it that have all been pressed together until they form a rock themselves. If we continue to add more intense heat and pressure when an increase in energy, we can actually then form a different kind of rock again. This is when any kind of stone will chemically change. Actually, the chemistry of the rock will change into a different kind of rock. That's why we use the word morph, which means to change when we call these metamorphic rocks. Now, once we have any kind of rock, especially metamorphic, that is really far deep down under the ground, the tectonic plate will start to move it towards the continent. And as it reaches the continent, it will force it down, 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 deep underground. This is where you're going to have another type of energy source, where intense heat will melt the rock through increasing energy into magma. That magma is lighter than the crust, so it will start to rise. And as it rises, it pushes its way up, causing a volcano to form. This is the basics behind what's happening in this um, impending doom that we have coming up. So we need to take a much closer look at it.